Hi, welcome back. This next video is a vinyasa class focusing on the alignment in the heart and shoulders. And if you have blocks, I cannot emphasize enough how much I love blocks. You're welcome to start off lying on your back on the blocks. If you don't have blocks, you're welcome to just lie flat on your back on the floor. If you are lying on blocks, place the first block directly pressed into the shoulder blades, lengthen through the back of the neck, place the head on the second block. We'll all start with our knees bent, and then if it's comfortable to extend the heels away from the crown of the head, you can do that. Bring the awareness to the breath. And notice the quality of the breath today before your practice. Notice if the chest feels tight or open. If the breath is short or long. If the inhale or the exhale bears more weight. And then begin to intentionally deepen the breath. Inhale into the back of the chest, filling the side bodies as well as the front of the chest. And as you exhale completely, allow any tension to leave the body with the breath through the fingertips. And then begin a quick scan through the physical body. Start at the bottoms of the feet and the tips of the toes. As you inhale, draw the awareness up through the legs, into the pelvis, the hips, the low back. Notice any areas of tension, soreness, general discomfort. And as you inhale deeply, breathe into those areas. Gently open and expand them with the in-breath. And as you exhale completely, allow the tension to leave the body with the breath. Next inhale draws the awareness of the torso into the shoulders, the neck, and the face. Again, just noticing where in the upper body you're holding tension today. And using the breath to go there, inhale deeply, creating space for fresh blood and oxygen to flow through those areas. And exhale completely, sinking into the support of the ground beneath you. Continuing the conversation, asking the body to soften and release tension. Lastly, checking with the mind. Notice where your thoughts are at. Notice the speed at which they're moving through you. Allow yourself to step back from identifying as the thoughts. And begin to witness their passing without getting attached or carried away without judging ourselves for what we're thinking about. But just becoming to notice the habits and patterns in the way the mind turns and in the way you speak to yourself. And then bring the awareness back and anchor fully on the breath. 
With your next inhale, stretch the arms up and overhead, palms as wide as the hand, hands as wide as the shoulders, palms facing each other as you reach back, lengthening from the tailbone through the heels and from the tailbone back through the crown of the head and the fingertips. Have three more deep, long breaths. And then with an inhale, bend the knees, grab the feet. And exhale, roll to the right side body. Coming off the blocks or just coming onto the side. Press down with the palms to lift up. And come to a comfortable seated position. Rounding down through both sits bones evenly. Inhale, lift and lengthen through the crown of the head and the tips of the ears. And as you exhale, roll the shoulders together down and into the back body to broaden the collarbone a little bit more. Looking for that same stacking of the bones and joints in the back body plane that was created when we were just laying on the floor. Today we're focusing on the action energy alignment in the heart and shoulders. And the heart is the center of the energetic body. It's where the energy of you meets the energy of the universe. And fundamentally, it's all about balance. Finding balance between all aspects of self so that we can reach out the energy from the heart moves out through the hands and connect to others in a way that is balanced so that there is equal energetic exchange so that we are not so that we can honor others as we honor ourselves so there isn't any taking advantage there also isn't any self-sacrifice we create space where everyone has the space to do and be and express themselves. The heart also knows justice, fairness, equity, because these are all forms of balance. When we are centered and when we are in our hearts, we just know how to treat others, what is fair, and that's a place we really need to get back to as like a society in the world in general, right? With an inhale, you can reach your arms up and overhead. And exhale through the mouth with sound. <sighs> Good. One more time like that. Inhale, stretch past the skin and fingertips. And exhale, let it all go. And then we'll do a pranayama, nadi shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. If you haven't noticed, this is my favorite breath work because it brings balance to the sides of the body, hemispheres of the brain, all of the seemingly opposing forces within and around us that actually work together to cultivate that balance. So bringing your right hand up by your face, hold your pointer and your middle fingers down, We'll use the thumb to block the right nostril, the ring and the pinky finger to block the left nostril alternately. First, just inhale deeply through the nose, lift and lengthen through the crown. Exhale completely, soften the shoulders together and down. Let block the right nostril and inhale left. Switch and exhale right. Inhale, right. Switch and exhale, left. Inhale, left. Switch and exhale, right. Inhale, right. Switch and exhale, left. 
Inhale, left. Switch and exhale, right. Inhale, right. Switch and exhale, left. Inhale, left. Switch and exhale, right. Inhale, right. Switch and exhale, left. Release the hands. Return to the normal breath. Again, just pausing to observe the effects of the pranayama on the energy in the body. And then if you don't already have the right shin crossed in front of the left shin, do that. Cross the knees in close towards each other so that the feet poke out in the center of the thighs. The bottom of the feet move towards turning up. The weight of the top shin is breaking up the hardness in the bottom calf and interlace the hands. Bring them palms facing up onto your head. Draw your armpits back and down, and then inhale, stretch the palms up towards the ceiling. Drop the chin down towards the chest, and pull the belly button in towards the back body. Reach through the palms to lift the back ribs, each one off the one below it. And keep all of that work as you then inhale, lift the head and lift the gaze. Pull the pinky fingers and the thumbs down towards the face and feel the shoulders come down away from the ears. Neutralize the head and gaze for three more breaths. Inhale, lifting the abdomen, hugging the elbows in. Exhale, softening the skin down around the bones. And then swing the arms to open the shoulders, keeping the low ribs rooted down and the torso stable. With an exhale, release the hands and twist to the right. Ground the right fingertips behind you and press the left the hand and the right leg together. Bring the awareness to the foundation and press both sit bones down. And inhale, lift the abdomen, the heart, and the crown from the base of the spine straight up. And as you exhale, deepen the twist. Press through the palms and fingertips to draw the shoulders together down and into the back body. And have one more deep, long breath. Return to center. Switch out the crossing of the legs. Again, crossing them in close to the knees. So the weight of the top shin breaks up that hardness in the bottom calf. The feet poke out and move towards turning up. Switch out the crossing of the hands and bring the palms facing up back onto the top of the head. Lift the crown of the head to meet the hands. And inhale, stretch the palms up. Drop the chin towards the chest, belly button towards the back body, low ribs root down, stretching through the palms to lift the back ribs, each one off the one below it. Inhale, lift the gaze. And pull the pinky fingers and the thumbs down towards the face. Feel the shoulders soften away from the ears. Neutralize the head and gaze for a few more breaths. Each inhale, hugging in and up from the floor to the core. Each exhale, softening the skin down around the bones. Keeping the spine neutral, begin to swing the arms to open the shoulders. Don't let the low ribs pop out. Good, and then with an exhale, release and twist to the left. Rounding the left fingertips behind you. Press the right hand and the left knee together to activate the legs, the foundation of the pose. From the base of the spine, inhale, lift straight up. And as you exhale, deepen the twist. 
pressing through the palms and the fingertips to draw the shoulders together down and into the back body. Have one more deep long breath. And then release. Come onto your hands and knees. Spread the fingers wide. Ground the knees right under the hips. As you inhale, drop the abdomen down, arch the back, gaze up. As you exhale, press down and curl the back of the heart to the ceiling. Continue at your own pace, sinking the motions of the body with the breath, using the breath to deepen the motions of the body. And play with turning the biceps to face forward. Feel how that rolls the shoulders back and creates space in the chest and collarbone. If you don't feel that, then play with turning the arms the other way and feel what that does in the neck and throat. We're always looking to make space in the body as we practice, so we turn the biceps forward as we move. When you are ready, you can tuck the toes and lift the hips high. Coming into downward facing dog. Return to your breath. <clears throat> Making that V shape with the body. As you inhale, lift and spread the fingers and toes, stretch them out to ground them down. From that grounding, inhale, lift the abdomen and lift the hips high. Exhale, press the thigh bones back. Let the head hang heavy. Have three more deep, long breaths. <sighs> and then with an inhale, fold forward into plank pose. The abdomen draws in and up, lifting to meet the spine. And the back of the ribs have to lift to meet the shoulder blades because the shoulder blades are attached to the hands through the bones of the arms. Then roll the shoulders down the back and extend through the heels and the neck. Have one more big breath here. And exhale, lower knees, chest, chin to the floor. Press the tops of the feet down, and inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Pressing everything that's on the ground firmly down to lift up. The shoulders roll together down and into the spine to open the chest more. Notice if you're crunching into one part of the neck, and make space. With your next exhale, seat to heels, come into child's pose. Allowing the weight of the hips to settle energetically towards the heels. So even if they don't touch, there's a grounded energy happening there. From that, we can inhale and walk the fingertips forward and breathe length and space into each vertebrae in the spine. We're gonna work on the engagement in the arms and shoulders, the alignment here. So with the hands as wide as the shoulders, press down into the palms and lift the arms up away from the floor. Pull from the fingertips to the center of the back of the heart, drawing the shoulders down the back away from the ears. And begin to turn the biceps to face up, keeping the index knuckle mound grounded as you soften the outer armpits towards the floor. Have three more deep long breaths. This is the same engagement and alignment that you're looking for in down dog and handstand. So locking it into the muscle memory of the body. And then with an inhale, rise, gaze up. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Press back. Inhale, lift and spread the fingers and toes. Stretch them out and ground them down. From that grounding, inhale, lift the hips high. 
Exhale, take the thigh bones up and back to where the wall meets the ceiling. And then same thing in the arms that we just did. Press down into the palms to lift the forearms away from the floor. Pull from the fingertips to the center of the back of the heart, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Turn the biceps forward and ground the index knuckle mound down. Take the center of the shoulder blades up and back to the thigh bones as they move up and back to where the wall meets the ceiling. Have three more deep, long breaths. Whoever said this is a resting pose is crazy. And then with an inhale, begin to tippy toe the feet forward to meet the hands. Coming into a standing forward bend at the front of the mat. You can feel free to bend the knees here for a second. Let the head be heavy. Shake it out, yes. And no. Grab opposite elbows and sway. Move in any way that feels good to release the tension from the back, the shoulders, and the neck. Let it go through the crown of the head. And then with an inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, come to stand. Exhale, release the arms down by your sides. Good. So we're gonna do some sun salutations and we're gonna pause a moment and really focus and break down the alignment of plank, of chaturanga, and of down dog like we just did. Because these movements come up again and again and again in the vinyasa class, and sometimes we're moving through them really quickly, and we're not sure if we're doing it right. And if the body isn't in alignment over time, the movements can injure us. So we wanna be really intentional and aware as we move through these sun salutations and vinyasas throughout the class. Making sure that your thigh bones are back so that the tailbone can root down from that grounding of the lower body. Inhale, lift the abdomen and lift the arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, gaze forward, lengthen the spine. Press down into the palms to roll the shoulders back. And as you exhale, fold deeply into the legs. Keep pressing down into the fingertips to roll the shoulders back. Do that a few more times. Inhale, gaze forward, get leg. Exhale, fold deeply. Continue to lift the shoulders away from the ears. A few more times at your own pace. Pressing down into the fingertips to roll the shoulders back. Keeping the shoulders back as you fold forward. So learning to lift the shoulders even when we're upside down. And then with your next inhale, gaze forward, lengthen. Exhale, ground the palms, step or jump back to plank pose and pause here. Finding that lift of the back of the ribs to meet the shoulder blades. Do that a few times, letting the ribs drop down and lifting them up. Drop them down and lift them up. These muscles between the shoulder blades are important. And then we're gonna lower the knees down. We're gonna keep lifting the back of the ribs to meet the shoulder blades. And as you exhale, shifting the weight way forward so the, the elbows stay over the wrists, bending the elbows straight back to 90 degrees, then press the top of the feet down. And inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Hug the center of the shoulder blades into the spine. Exhale, lift the hips high. Downward facing dog. Return to the breath. Inhale, drawing the energy in and up from the floor to the core. And exhale, extending out in all directions through the four corners of the hands, the feet, the crown of the head. <sighs> Turning the biceps to create space in the neck and throat. Taking the center of the shoulder blades up and back towards the thigh bones. 
Thigh bones up and back to where the wall meets the ceiling. Have one more deep long breath. And then with an inhale, gaze forward. Step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply into the legs. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, come to stand. Exhale, release the arms down by your sides. Tadasana. Checking in with the alignment in the feet, taking the thigh bones back, rooting the tailbone down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, gaze forward, get length, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round the palm, step or jump back to plank. Finding that lifting of the ribs to meet the shoulder blades. If you need to lower the knees to support the spine, we want one long line of energy through the body as we bend the elbows straight back just to 90 degrees. Inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Return to the breath. Finding that balance between pressing down to lift up, between drawing in to shine out, making whatever adjustments you need to make in your body to create more ease and space and freedom. Have one more deep long breath. And with an inhale, gaze forward. Step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply into the legs. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, release the arms down by your sides. One more time. Sun salutation, A. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, gaze forward, lengthen. Exhale, ground the palm step or jump back. Lift the back of the heart and exhale, lower. Bending the elbows straight back. Going only as far as you can go without collapsing the body. Inhale, lift the heart. Roll the shoulders back. Center of the shoulder blades into the spine. Exhale, lift the hips high. Return to the breath. <sighs> With an inhale, gaze forward, step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply over the legs. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, come to stand. Exhale, release the arms down by your sides. Sun salutation, B. This time we're going to interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the gaze, draw the arms away from the back body. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Pausing for a moment here, draw the shoulders together and down the back, away from the ears, and then draw the arms more actively away from the back body. Let the head hang heavy for one more breath. And then with an inhale, arms reach up, drop the seat, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, gaze forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, ground up home, step or jump back, moving through a vinyasa or coming to downward facing dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward, rise, warrior one at the top of the breath. Exhale, ground the palm, step back. Move through vinyasa, lowering to chaturanga dandasana. Lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, lift the hips high, downward facing long. 
Inhale, left foot forward and rise, warrior one, at the top of the breath. Exhale, round the palm, step back, lower. Inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Return to the breath. Remembering that it's always an option to skip the vinyasas if you've had enough or to come into child's pose or any other shape that is a comfortable resting position for the body. With your next inhale, gaze forward, step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply into the legs. Inhale, drop the seat, arms reach up, Utkatasana. Exhale, stand tall. Tadasana. Switch out the crossing of the hands behind the back, making sure that the thigh bones are back and that the tailbone roots down. As you inhale, lift the sternum, draw the arms away from the back body. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Feeling free to take a slight bend in the knees here while you work the alignment in the shoulders if you'd like. Shoulders drawn together and down the back away from the ears. Then the arms more actively draw away from the back body. The back of the neck is long. Have one more deep long breath. And then with an inhale, arms reach up. Drop the seat, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold forward over the legs. Inhale, gaze forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, grab the palms, step or jump back and lower. Inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Return to the breath. Inhale, the right leg steps through, rise, warrior one. Exhale, interlace the hands behind you. Inhale, lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, pull forward, hinging at the hips. Same thing, drawing the shoulders together and down the back and then drawing them actively away from the back body. If your elbows hyperextend, you might want to bend the elbows a little bit here and feel that different stretch. Have one more deep long breath. And release, step back, coming to down dog or lower, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, step the left foot forward and rise. Warrior one. Exhale, switching out the crossing of the fingers, interlace the hands behind the back. Exhale, fold forward. And notice what you're doing with your hips. Make whatever adjustments you can make to bring balance and evenness. Breathe length and space into both side bodies. Exhale, draw the arms away from the back. Taking that slight bend in the elbows and feeling the difference in the stretch. With your next exhale, release. Step back. Coming into down dog or lower, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the hips. Return to the breath. Finding that balance and evenness in the breath that brings balance and evenness into the heart rate and the speed of the thoughts through the mind. With an inhale, gaze forward, step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, drop the seat arms, reach up, Utkatasana. Exhale, stand tall. Tadasana. Good. Inhale, arms reach up, drop the seat, Utkatasana to hold. Sticking the thigh bones back to get low, rooting the tailbone down to lift the abdomen, the heart, the crown of the head, fingertips, lift, biceps, rotate in. Three more deep long breaths.
and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, gaze forward, lengthen. Exhale, ground the palm, step or jump back, lower. Always an option to use the knees to support you. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, that right leg through and rise, warrior one. Exhale, and raise the hands. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, rise and open to the side, warrior two. Inhale, pull back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, curve with the hands to the mat. Step back, move through a vinyasa or come to downward facing dog. Being with your breath, whatever choice you make. Inhale, the left leg through. Rise, warrior one. Exhale, release the hands and release them behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale, rise, and exhale to the side, warrior two. Inhale, pull it back, peaceful warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the mat. Step back, lower, chaturanga dasana, or press back, downward dog. Or inhale, lift the heart, and then exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Return to your breath. And with an inhale, gaze forward, step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply over the legs. Inhale, drop the seat, arms reach up, Utkatasana. Exhale, stand tall, Tadasana. Go ahead. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Prepare for our crow pose practice. So taking a slight bend in your elbows and you're bringing your knees onto your upper arms and you have to lift the hips high, that's gonna make it easier. And you have to gaze way forward. Just like in Chaturanga, you need the elbows to be over the wrists. The head acts as a counterweight to the pelvis. Hug the legs into the arms and lift the abdomen. Lift the back of the ribs to meet the shoulder blades. Even if the feet aren't getting off the ground yet, just feel the muscles working and have three more deep long breaths. With that third exhale, you can play with kicking the feet back and coming into Chaturanga, or you can make your way back to downward facing dog any way that feels good to you. <sighs> With an inhale, lift the right leg high, and exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise to warrior one, and exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Again, inhale, pull it back, peaceful warrior. And then as you exhale, straighten the front leg, stretch forward and down into triangle pose. Good, bringing your hand to the shin or the floor behind the leg, lifting that left arm up. So finding the alignment in the hips first, the back hip lifting up and drawing back, the front thigh bone cutting back towards the back thigh bone, stacking the hips, inhale the abdomen back, lengthen through the crown of the head, and then press out through the hands and draw the shoulders together down and into the back body. Have three more deep long breaths. And with an inhale, rise. Exhale that deep bend in the front knee. And you could bring the elbow to the knee or take the hand to the floor in front of the foot today. 
the shoulder and the knee press together. From the back edge of the, from the tailbone press out through the back edge of the back foot, and then reach the arm over the ear. You can stay right here, or you can take that left hand behind your back and reach for that right thigh bone. Or maybe you want to thread the right arm under the right leg for a bind, eventually grabbing the left wrist with the right hand. The alignment is the same. Pressing from the tailbone through the back heel, lift the abdomen, roll the shoulders together and down the back. Have three more deep long breaths. And then straightening that front leg, coming into a bound triangle. Three breaths. Stacking the hips and shoulders with the abdomen back towards the spine. With an exhale, release. Cargo the hands to the mat. Step back. Coming to downward facing dog or exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the hips. Pause and have a few breaths. Observing the different sensations of the different sides of your body. And then we move to cultivate that balance always. Inhale, the left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Inhale, pull that peaceful warrior. Exhale, straightening the front leg as you stretch forward and down, coming into triangle pose. Grounding your palm on the shin or the floor behind your leg. Lift that right arm up. The back hip lifts up and draws back. Front thigh bone cuts back towards the back thigh bone and the breath comes into the midline of the body. Inhale, lift the abdomen and lengthen the spine. And exhale, press out through the palms to draw the shoulders together down and into the back body. Have three more deep long breaths. And with an inhale, rise. Exhale, the deep end of the front knee. You can bring the elbow to the knee or you can bring the hand to the floor in front of your foot for today. Pressing the shoulder and the knee towards each other. Take the back from the back, from the tailbone, press through the back edge of the back foot, and then reach the arm overhead, palm faces down to roll the shoulder into the socket. If you did so on the other side, maybe reaching that right arm behind the back for the left thigh bone. Maybe threading the left arm under the right for the bind. We don't want to compromise the length in the spine to get the bind. Still, the back thigh bone is back. Pressing down through the back heel. Inhale, draw the abdomen back. And exhale, roll the shoulders together and down the back. Have three more deep long breaths. And then inhale, straightening the front leg. Stacking the hips and shoulders in the side body plane for that bound triangle. Have three more breaths. If you're feeling incredible crunching in the left side body, release into an open triangle. And with an exhale, release. Cartwheel the hands to the mat. Step back. Feel free to come to downward dog or exhale and lower. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale. Lift the hips. <sighs> With an inhale, gaze forward, step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply into the legs, 
Inhale, arms reach up, come to stand. Exhale, release the arms down by your sides. Good. So let's take the hands on the hips and step the left leg back. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. So we're in a long stance with the hips facing forward. You can take a secret prayer behind the back, pressing the palms together, pressing the low ribs back. If that is not accessible, you can grab opposite elbows or interlace the hands behind the back as we have been. But either way, as you inhale, lift the abdomen, the heart, and the crown. And as you exhale, begin to fold forward, hinging at the hips. Thigh bones press back. Muscles of the legs hug into the bones. Abdomen draws back and the heart draws towards the shin. Have three more deep long breaths. Inhale, lift the chest parallel to the earth. Take a deep bend in the front knee and fly forward. <laughs> Warrior three. You can take any variation in the arms that supports you. Three breaths. And then inhale the knee into the chest. <sighs> Turn the left knee out. Place the foot on the inner calf or thigh above or below the knee joint. Bring the hands to the heart. Everything hugging into the midline of the body from the tailbone root down through the floor, connecting you to the earth. And with an inhale, lift the arms up. Take the hands as wide as the shoulders, or you can keep them together if that feels better to you. You can stay right here or you can inhale, lift the sternum, and exhale, lean into the back body for a back bend. Three more breaths. And then with an inhale, rise to center. Exhale, release. Oh, good. Hands on the hips. And you can step that right leg back. Taking whatever variation you took on the other side, maybe grabbing elbows or interlacing the hands behind the back, switching out the crossing of the arms and the hands if you did that, or coming into that secret prayer, pressing the palms together to roll the shoulders back, pressing the low ribs back so you're not just arching into the low back. Inhale, lift the abdomen, and exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips, pressing the thigh bones back, rooting the tailbone down, finding that balance and evenness so you can breathe length and space into the spine. The heart comes towards the shin for three more deep long breaths. With an inhale, lift, and exhale, take a deep bend in the front knee. Inhale, fly forward, warrior three, pressing through both heels, lifting from the inner thigh, lift the abdomen, lengthen the heart forward. And with an inhale, rise the knee into the chest, Turn that right knee out and place the foot, on the, the, the foot on the inner calf or thigh of the left leg, not on the knee. Because the hands press together at the heart, the foot and leg press together. Everything hugs into the midline of the body. That balance of opposing forces. Round down to lift up. And then taking whatever variation you took on the other side, maybe you want to stay at the center today. Maybe you want to lift the heart and exhale, lean back. Three breaths. And 
And with an inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Oh. Last little standing pose series. Inhale, arms reach up, drop the seat. Exhale, hands to heart and twist. Press the palms together to roll the shoulders back. Widen the left hip to the left to stabilize the pelvis. Lift the heart to meet the thumbs, hugging the center of the shoulders into the back body for three more breaths. Shift the weight to the right foot and extend the left leg back. Coming into a twisted lunge on that right side, you're welcome to lower the left knee down for support or to keep it lifted. Maybe you want to stay here with the hands in prayer. Maybe you want to reach the left hand down to ground outside the right foot. You can bring the right hand onto the sacrum. We want to find balance and evenness there. Maybe that left hand reaches under the left leg, the right leg, sorry, for the bind. Left hand grabbing right wrist. The back thigh bone still lifts up, widening to the left. The right hip roots down towards the left heel. Lift the abdomen and lean into the back body to snap the shoulders and open the heart. Have three more deep long breaths. And then release. Ground the left hand on the inside of the right foot and flip it over for some version of side plank. Maybe there's a trick pose here once again. Maybe you want to take that right leg back behind you and open it up into a back bend. Wild thing. Three breaths. And then flip it over, coming to plank pose. You can press back down dog or child's pose. You can lower chaturanga and dasana. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, lift the hips. Returning to the breath. With an inhale, gaze forward. Step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Exhale, fold deeply. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, come to stand. Exhale, release the arms down by your sides. I'm gonna scoot my mat away from the wall a little bit. Coming into the twisted pose, standing series on the left side. Inhale, reach the arms up, drop the seat, Utkatasana. Exhale, the hands to the heart, twist to the left. Right elbow comes outside the left knee. Right hip widens to the right. Pressing the hands together, lift the heart to meet the thumbs and roll the shoulders together down and into the back body. Three breaths. Gaze down and shift the weight to the left foot. Stretch the right leg slowly back for that twisted lunge on the right si left side. Always an option to lower the right knee down, to stay here with the hands at prayer, or to reach that right hand to ground outside the left foot. Bringing the left hand onto the sacrum, notice what's happening in the hips. Often the front hip goes out and wide. So you have to hug the body into the midline of the body. The back thigh bone lifts and widens to the right as well. You can stay here and extend the arm up, or you can reach behind for the bind, threading the right arm under the left leg and reaching for the left wrist with the right hand. The alignment stays the same, lifting the abdomen and the back thigh bone. Lift, turning, stacking the shoulders to open the heart. Have three more deep long breaths. Exhale, 
and then release. Ground the right hand inside the left foot. You can kickstand the left foot for support for side plank. You can take the feet on top of each other, come into tree pose, pressing down to lift the hips always, or you can step that left leg behind and open up for wild thing, Chamat Karasana. Have three breaths. And then flip it over, coming into plank, to child's pose, to down dog, or moving through that vinyasa. Let's all take a few breaths in child's pose. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is dolphin pose or forearm stand prep. And if you have a block, I cannot emphasize enough how wonderful blocks are. You can place the block between the thumb and the index finger to prevent the hands from going like this. So in our dolphin pose or our forearm stand prep, we want the, we're gonna do like a downward dog shape with the forearms grounded. We wanna keep the forearms parallel and not let them cross, not let the hands move towards each other. So that's where the block can come in really handy. We're gonna ground the forearms like railroad tracks, elbows under the shoulders, come into a forearm plank, lift the back of the heart to meet the shoulders, and then begin to walk the feet in. Keeping the elbows, the shoulders over the elbows, but pressing the center of the shoulder blades up and back towards the thigh bones. You might wanna bend your knees a little bit to lift the hips higher. We're moving towards stacking the hips over the shoulders as well. You can stay right here or inhale and lift the left leg high. Have three more breaths, lifting from the inner thigh and the center of the heel, keeping the abdomen lifted, right thigh bone pressing back, all the bones and joints stacked. Gaze between the forearms. Once you've had three breaths, you can exhale and release into a child's pose for a few breaths. <sighs> and again, as always, all of these alignment cues are just useful suggestions. So I'm not trying to be like militant with it but there is a lot of stuff I wanna say in each shape to give you as much information and as many options to play with as you can. So it's really all about you exploring your body and I'm just making playful suggestions. We'll ground the forearms once again, elbows or shoulders over the elbows, forearms stay parallel to each other. Come back into that forearm plank, lift the back of the heart to meet the shoulder blades and keep that as you walk the feet in. Maybe you wanna bend the knees to lift the hips higher. Maybe you wanna look through and press the center of the shoulder blades up and back towards the thigh bones. Maybe you wanna stay with your legs here. Maybe you wanna lift the right leg high. Lifting from the inner thigh in the center of the heel. Lifting the abdomen. Pressing the left thigh bone back as you gaze between the forearms. Have three breaths. And with an exhale release. Come into child's pose again. Let it all go. Maybe you want to take your arms along the sides of your body now. Good. And then we will rise onto the knees. 
If you have a block, place it between the thighs and just reminds the legs to engage and support the lower spine. Either way, the hips stay over the knees. We're doing a variation of camel pose. Interlace the hands behind the back, root the tailbone down. Inhale, lift the abdomen, lift the sternum. Exhale, draw the arms away from the back. Inhale, lift the sternum, lift the gaze. Exhale, continue to draw the arms away. Have three more breaths. Maybe you can touch the heels with the fingertips. We don't want to collapse in the lower back to do it. We're still lifting the back of the heart and we're not collapsing in there. We're using this pose to strengthen the throat. With an inhale, rise. And you can sit back between the heels for hero's pose pulling the skin of the knees up, rolling the calves out. If that is sharply painful in the hips or the knees, that means that this is not the pose for you today. And you should take any other comfortable resting pose for a few breaths. Good. So we're gonna come back onto the knees and do that variation of camel pose once more. And I encourage you to stay with the difficulty of it rather than collapse into the lower back. So rooting the tailbone down, lifting the abdomen, switch out the crossing of the hands. Inhale, lift the sternum, lift the gaze. Exhale, draw the arms away from the back. Inhale, lift the back of the heart. Exhale, draw the arms away. Maybe you can touch down on the heels, but only if you can do it without sinking into the lower back. Have three more deep long breaths. And with an inhale, rise. Go ahead, this time you can swing the legs around in front of you. Ground the fingertips behind you. And inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Lift the shins parallel to the earth. Take whatever variation of bow pose you want to take, but keeping the focus on the broadness of the collarbone. Maybe you lift the hands, maybe you extend the legs. Five breaths. With an exhale, release. Draw the knees into the chest. Ground the palms behind you, fingertips facing towards you. You can do this pose with the knees bent or with the legs straight, pressing the feet towards the floor. Ex lift the heart and extend the crown of the head back. Have five breaths. And with an exhale, lower the hips. Bend the knees, ground the feet, and roll the spine back. Press the back of the feet and the press the back of the head and the back of the shoulders into the mat. If you have a block, placing it between the thighs will keep you from, will help you not crunch your lower back. If you don't have a block, you want to make sure the feet stay facing forward as wide as the hips. So you're not just using the glutes to lift up, you're using the hamstrings and the quads. Press the back of the head and shoulders down and inhale, lift the pelvis, the low back, the middle back. If it feels good to interlace the hands behind the back to roll the shoulders under, you can do that. Or just turn the palms to face up. The heart is the focal point of this pose. From the back of the heart, we lift away from the upper arms. We extend through the knees. We extend through the crown of the head. Have three more deep long breaths. Soften the buttocks. And with an exhale, release. 
you resist the urge to draw the knees into the chest, but you can sway the knees from side to side. We're gonna do one more back bend, and you can feel free to do what we just did again, bridge pose. We're actually all gonna start with that shape. And then if you want to take it into full wheel, which is that like big arch that you see like little kids do all the time, I'll talk you through that. So with the knees bent, feet grounded in close to the buttocks, facing forward, outer edge of the feet parallel with outer edge of the mat. This time we're gonna ground the palms by the ears, fingertips facing towards us. First, same shape we did last time, pressing down to lift the hips, the low back, the middle back. You're welcome to stay here or to press down into the palms and rise onto the crown of the head. Keep hugging the elbows towards each other so they don't splay out as you press down to the four corners of the hands and feet to rise into your um, full wheel pose, Urdhva Dhanurasana. Same thing, pressing down to lift up. Have three to five breaths on your own. When you exhale, lower onto the crown of the head, adjust your hands, then lift up and lower onto the back of the head. Bring your palms into your hip creases, stick your booty out towards the floor a little bit, and then press the thigh bones away as you stretch the crown of the head in the opposite direction. Have a few breaths. And then draw the knees into the chest, rock gently from side to side, massage the low back. With an exhale, drop the knees over to the right side and spread the arms wide for a twist. If you want to deepen the twist, you can cross the left leg over the right. But you want to make sure that you breathe length and space into the spine and that nothing crunches in the lower back as you exhale and soften more deeply into the back body plane. Have a few more deep long breaths here. Remembering that if there ever is sharp pain in the back in your practice, you want to back off it and unwind, listen to the body. With an inhale, bring it back to center. And if you are just have the knees together, you can drop to the left side. If you had crossed the legs on the other side, cross them on this side as well for balance. Inhale, breathing into the back of the chest. And exhale, softening more deeply into the twist, into this ringing out of the body, clearing on all layers and levels of self, releasing all habits and patterns that don't serve, making space to be new, to be spontaneous, to discover something different about yourself today. With an inhale, bring it back to center. Reach through the knees to grab on the outer edge of the feet for happy baby. Press the feet into the hands, the hands into the feet, tailbone roots down, head and shoulders ground and move in any way that feels good to you within the confines of the shape. This is the final pose of the practice. And when you're ready, you can relax, release, and open into Shavasana, final relaxation. Palms face up at like a 30 degree angle from the body. The shoulders are rolled under and into the back body. The breath is so deep and so long that it touches into the bottoms of the feet and the tips of the toes. And as you exhale completely, <sighs> any residual tension, negativity, anxiety, leaves the body with the breath through the fingertips. 
So through this practice, the body is emptied out. We come to center. We remember who we truly are and that it's all love. Please spend at least seven minutes in Shavasana, the most important pose of the practice. When all of your new intentions and alignment are able to sink into and infuse each and every cell in your being. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.